Now we're going to learn how to create a blog and insert it into your website. Now one reason to do this is if you've got a client that would like some interactivity, let's say they want some news that they want to put on their site, they want to keep it updated, they want to update their own pictures, uh, content, things like that, without having to dig into the Dreamweaver document, do the HTML, CSS, upload FTP files, that, that is way beyond what most clients want to be able to do. They just want to be able to update without lots of knowledge of code or anything like that. So what we're going to use is blogger.com which allows us to create a blog that uh, allows you to put images in, text, and you can customize the look and all that kind of thing. And this is basically just a simple blog that's very easy for someone to edit and and uh, put their own information on. Now how does this uh, play into what we do? Well if we go to my daughter's website what I've done is created an iframe and I popped that blog into the iframe so this is all my custom designed website that I made in Dreamweaver and then if I go to my news I'm pulling in that blog into the website so it allows for the client to go ahead and update information and images and video whatever they want to put in it and they just update it on their blog site and because it's linked to the iframe here it's pulling it into our site so let's see how we do that um, let's go to blogger and go to a different browser so we can see that okay so just type in blogger in Google and actually blogger is owned by Google they bought it and uh, it's free and you just go ahead and if you've got a Google account you can go ahead and sign in that way or you can just go ahead and get started here by clicking on the get started button and you're going to have to set up a Google account if you don't already have one. You should already have one if you've uh, got an account with West Liberty. I'm not going to go through all this. This is pretty self-explanatory as you go through and you select your blog. It's going to ask you to name it and it's also going to ask you to make uh, grab a template for it. We'll look at that. But uh, you go ahead, sign into Google or go directly to Blogger, create an account and create your own blog account. It's free. There's no strings attached. And uh, go ahead and start your blog and then maybe pause this and then come back to what I've got here which is going to be the dashboard. When you created your blog you're gonna have, let me just see if I'm on the right one, yeah, okay. You're gonna have the option to select different design looks, different settings, allow comments, edit comments, things like that. I'll uh, just look at design for a second. And it's going to allow you to set up headers, footers, things called gadgets. And I'm not going to go too deeply into any of this because I think once you start playing with it, it's going to be easy to figure out how this stuff works. You got your template designer over here which allows you to select different types of templates. Here's the one that I selected here. I can click on a different one and hopefully it will update and show me what it would look like that way. So you've got a lot of different options for your templates. I'm going to go back with this one. Okay, and uh, then again, background, background images, you can make your own image, all those types of things are available. So I'm going to go back to Blogger, you can apply that to your blog. Statistics, there's just a lot of different things that you can set up and dig into. You can find out who's viewing your page from where, and uh, comments, you're allowed to let people go ahead and comment on your blog and you can manage them. So there's a lot of different options that you can give to your client regarding the blog. Now once we create a blog, what do we do with it? That's where we need to look at Dreamweaver. Uh, basically, the blogger, once you've created the blog, 
is going to give you a web address for the blog and I'll show you where that is um, right here here's my web address for the blog it's called illustrationnews.blogspot.com that if <clears throat> you just type that into a browser is going to open up her blog just as it is but we want to take this a step further and stick it inside of our website so just as we've done with the Google map and with the Google uh, forms we can do that with the blog I'm going to go down to Dreamweaver and I'm going to open up the news page here it is and putting that blog into here is as simple as having a div tag and I'm just putting it in this, into my text field div tag making that iframe source but now the source of it is going to go directly to that blog illustrationnews.blogspot.com I can give it a specific width in this case I just used 80 percent specific height I made it 500 and this your browser does not support iframes the reason they put that in there is in case somebody's browser like I don't know whose doesn't support iframes anymore but if if the browser uh, does not allow iframes to come in it's going to give them that little message like why don't you get a browser that supports iframes and then you'll be able to see what's in here okay so that's where our blog is going to be situated I'm going to view it in Safari and it's going to pull it from the internet and there it is and so the blog becomes a part of our um, web page giving some interactivity allowing a user not to have to know Dreamweaver or HTML in order to um, update their site gives uh, gives a little bit of control that way you're not being called every you know day or two to put new pictures new information on the site and it's done in a way that I think integrates pretty nicely into your site. So that's putting a blogger site onto your web page. Now again the, the steps are to go to blogger, set up your site in blogger, you could even start to put some content on it, then go ahead over to Dreamweaver and you're going to at that point put the iframe source and stick it into a div tag and now the blog becomes live on your site.